All right, well, in this video, we are going to complete our $1,000 haul. And for those of you who did not watch the first video, uh, we basically purchased 13 boxes from our friend Eric at the flea market. And we didn't really know what was in the boxes. We just know that Eric's got really good taste. He knows what we buy. He watches our eBay. He knows what our viewers like. And we said, sure, we'll pay you $1,000 for these boxes without knowing what's inside. <laughs> Sounded like a great idea. <laughs> We've been very pleased so far. Um, you can go back and watch that video from a few days ago. But now we're going to go through the rest of the stuff from that $1,000 haul. And this is gonna be the last of it. And this is the last of it. And we're gonna to try to get through it this evening. Yes. And it is evening. We are filming tonight. And we've already filmed four videos. This is number four. This is number four. This is the fourth video. I've lost track. In a row. We've filmed so many videos. Yeah, we filmed. Um, so we are going to film. So we have some nights where we don't have to go film at 11 o'clock and this edit till 12 and wait till one for the upload. And we can go to sleep at I love normal sleep. times. A lot of people ask, do you ever sleep? Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Okay. Let's sleep. What is sleep? We've got a really eventually. busy week ahead of us. I thought like in December things were going to slow down, but I just feel like... No. No. I mean, we've got next weekend, we've got two Christmas parties. Two back Christmas to back, parties. Saturday, Sunday. And then I've got another one to go to that Thursday. Yeah. It's crazy, but I'm not passing up food. It's food. 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 Tis the season to get chubby. Okay, well, before we run out of SD card, okay. because we're pushing it on number four of videos, let's talk about everything. So we've got some stuff out on the table here in front of us. This is the stuff that I kind of dismissed in the last video because I'd already seen it and I knew what it was. And I'm like, no, I want new boxes that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, so we're going to kind of go through this pretty quick. Um, not super, super quick, but we're not going to go into extreme detail. Um, a lot of these pieces were purchased as blanks, and then they were decorated yeah. separately. And one of the very posh things to do in the late 1800s as a housewife was to sit around and decorate porcelain. Uh, but we do, have, oh, we do have a few of these cider pitchers left, too. We do have a few cider pitchers. We have sold only two of the cider pitchers. We have the Seagulls pitcher listed. Um, and we've got the parrots are going up. The parrots will be going up soon. And if you want, we like showed a preview of those recently. Oh, in the last video, you showed the parrot one again. But these are some of the other pictures that we had stashed away in the boxes. We've got that one's got really nice pond lilies. Yeah, I wish they would have painted some frogs or something on there, really nice. but they did a really nice job. It's painted by LS Flucky. LS. Plucky? No, that's an F. That's a P. That's a plucky. That's a flucky. That's a plucky. <laughs> that's a plucky. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be a fun video. And then we've got this one here. M.E. Gray. That one looks like it might be something special. Because this one is also pond lilies. Yeah. But do we see a difference here? A huge difference in quality. Maybe. You can't. This person was much more talented. Yes. And I love the way they signed it because they actually signed it by scratching into the glaze. They didn't just sign it. With they, paint. Yes. They didn't paint their signature on. They took a, took a, took the time to maybe take a toothpick or, mm -hmm. or the back end of a paintbrush paint yeah. and inscribe their name into the paint. I like this one. I do too. I mean, I don't like it as much as the parrots, but I like it. And then we've got, I think, two more of these very high gold, gold pieces. Yeah. So this one, I can't make out this mark. But it's marked 1932. Yeah, but the mark is pretty faded. And so... Anyway, um, so we've got more cider pitchers, and we've also got all of this stuff in front of us, which includes lots of plates, and these are Haviland and Company. These were more than likely blanks that were simply just painted by the artist and AMS. each one is different. Yes. And there's five of them. They're pretty flowers. They are, and no two are alike. All different flowers. Yep. 
But same signature on the back. AMS. And they've got that gold border on them. It's really nice, actually. Uh, I like those. See, Sam went through these, and I didn't actually get the chance to look at those. We've got the bird. I didn't see the bird. The I'm bird? I'm excited about the bird. You didn't see the bird? The bird. Here, let's the bird. flip the bird. <laughs> and You're it says, so funny. Limage France. It does. It's got a boo boo on it, unfortunately. Flip the bird back. Oh, boy. Here's some more birds. Ooh, these all these ones all have birds on them. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Do that again. No. So we've got these plates. I love the flowers on those. Oh, are these just, are great. Oh, those are fantastic. Is, yeah, these, these are all unique. So these are marked F Trail was the artist who painted these, and each scene of birds and flowers are unique. N trail. F trail. Ooh. N trail. F trail. Uh, F. A different F trail because that's a different signature. Yeah. F trail. Well, they could have just been done at different times. Oh, I really like this N trail. One. Look at N trails. N trail. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cut. We got some N trails here. I love that one. Look at the the design on that. Oh, I almost wonder that's if that's delightful. But I almost wonder if the trail. Ooh, that is a really right? nice. Holy smokes. I N trail is better than F trail. But I, I almost wonder because the trail has a dot at the end of it. Yeah. I almost wonder if they actually abbreviated their last name as well. Ah, possibly. It could have been like Trail Lichtenstein or something really long. That's possible. Anything is possible. Could be uh, something. Snodgrass. 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 Oh. What is that? Paper, you tell me. Paperweight. Glass paperweight. <laughs> Looks like. A paperweight. A glass paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> did this come in your haul? It did. It I did. Like it. it was in there. Um, I think it's that's probably going to wind up with Ashton. I think so. Most, I think that's an most, Ashton piece. Most likely. It's nothing spectacular. Actually, it, there, there was a glass paperweight we got, and I have to double check this one. It had a signature, but it was very faint. So, but we'll get to it. I'm holding this upside down. So this is Jean Poat. Poat? <laughs> this, this is me totally butchering French names. P-O-U-A-Y-T. JP is the abbreviation. I can't even spell it. I'm, I'm seeing it in my head. Um, but I think this was also a blank, honestly. It's marked MB. This one is. This is 1891. And I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is friggin' amazing. That is weird and delightful at the same time. It's like purple cactuses. Cactus. No, it's a type of flower. Is it like a thistle, maybe? I don't know. They look like cacti. They're not cactus. They look like cacti. Cactuses. Cactuses. I'm pretty sure that's a thistle of some sort. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what I'm talking about. I'm talking Where's about my it? mom when you need her? She knows like every plant. They look like cacti. These are really pretty. Yeah. This one's not marked. They're not marked. This Ooh. one is marked 64. It is not 1964. I think it is 1964. I think that's 1964. I think it is 1964. What do you guys think? Do you think this is 1964? Do you know why I think it's 1964? Why would you say that? Because if you hold it compared to, say, this piece, I see what you mean. I think it's 1964 because the weight of that one and the way it's made as opposed to this one which is probably turn of the century it's not marked but it is turn of the century there's no gold on this either i'm going to say 1964. i'm calling it so you think this one could be a later one as well too because look at the glaze on the bottom of this i do absolutely interesting i'm full of interesting still very things. pretty though they are pretty. Okay. They are pretty. And we've got that whole um, pile there. We've got this 
feel like we did this one. I don't, I don't remember. We'll show it again. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Because everything's kind of looking and looking the same and it looks the same after a while. together. And... It is nice though. I like that. So, that one's not marked. It just has an S on it. We've got a little framed Limoges pot lid. Yes. It's very pretty. There is, um, there is a name on here. Fragonaro. And there is a whole history of his paintings. He was a very famous painter. And his art was used on a lot of these cold cream jar lids. Interesting. Um, dresser jar lids too, whatever you want to call them. But this one, is somebody actually, transfer? yeah. I think that, uh, that, one might, that one might be a transfer. It looks like a transfer. But there's a whole history online. I was reading on those on the artist himself. Um, but the porcelain is Limoges porcelain mm -hmm. that they did these on. Interesting. Um, but somebody took it after the fact. And saved the lid. No. And saved the lid and framed it and mounted it and it looks pretty darn cool. I like it. Um, here we've got some bone dishes. We have a whole set of those and I believe those are actually currently listed. And each one is different. Oh yeah, they are. These have an 1800 something something. They are marked CFH for Charles Field Haviland. 1890. And I don't know which Goodham means. I just know CFH is Charles Field Haviland. Sifa Goodham. Sifa Goodham. I think GDM is like some ridiculously hard to pronounce thing that I'm not gonna even attempt. So we've got those. We've also got coasters with little dogs on them. Now these aren't actually that old. They, they're marked West Germany. They are. They're marked Kaiser. And they're actually like a ton of sets of these. And they are kind of collectible. We actually have two sets. And I don't know if one sold yet or not. But we had a set with purple flowers. And then we had these hunting dogs. Interesting. Yes. Nice man cave coasters. That's right. Now this piece. Royal Austria. I'm not really sure about this one, Andrew. I'm not either. That's cool. It is cool. It's footed. You know, it's just a little, a little dish. I feel like we did this already. Did we do these funky ones? I think we did. Okay, well, I couldn't remember. Let's get into the boxes. Okay, let's get into the boxes. Let's start with this little box of smalls. Yes. And we'll pull out a piece of... Blanca. Blanco with the original label on it, Ooh, which I is might, cool, and I like the color. I might just have to hoard this for a little while, maybe. I don't actually. I don't think I have any Blanco. I don't think I have any Blanco. I'm gonna fit some Floyd with a parrot, parrot style bird, and a seagull style bird on there. Why not? I do like this a lot. I would be tempted to hoard it because it has parrots and birds on it. And it is a coffee mug, but I feel like it's just not adequate enough compared to my owl mug. I feel like, I feel like somebody was teasing us. <laughs> oh, there's still Goodwill stickers on those. Goodwill. Somebody oh made gosh. a little pit stop on the way back from the yeah. auction. Oh, it's a Music. Yeah, they're... Oh, those are so great for Christmas. Now they're just going to keep doing that our whole haul video. That sounds like aliens! I really hope 
hope the microphone picked that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that was fun that was fun that's that was... actually really neat though yeah and i is. think that noise is actually whatever makes it spin it's probably the gears yeah and they've probably been sitting for a while it's Pro probably the more it gets used the more it'll work itself loose need some wd-40 <clears throat> this is cute it's not marked it's not. It's kind of a blue opaline. It's got a I or a one. The lid is separate, so be careful. Careful. The, the doll's just freaking me out a little. So this is, well, you could either call it blue milk glass or blue opaline glass. I've heard it both ways. They have a mark on here. I can't read it. Unfortunately. Check this out and call Mary Beaver. I don't know what that means. Um, whatever that says. He's got a $425 number on there. I don't understand. I don't know. We'll have to research that. We all a list bit. it for $425. I don't know what those are. It, 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 it's 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 a shot glass in a holster. Oh, see. From um, Goodwill that somebody decided to stick in the box from Argentina. Oh, Eric, it's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is cute. That looks like the Limoges that you were showing the other day. Remember when you found your little TV? This was the color it was. Yeah. Some Limoges, blue and gold. It's very pretty. These are Limoges too. These have a probably a children's set. Little cream and sugar. Oh, little baby cream and sugar. Really thin, very delicate. Um, the one, the handle is twisty. Yeah, these are either for individual servings, or they are for a child's set. Either or. That thing's just gonna keep playing music and it's freaking me out. This is pummeled. This is pretty. Yes, it is a rose bowl. It is a satin glass rose bowl. Mount Washington Glass Company made a lot of these, but personally, I don't know how to attribute them to Mount Washington Glass. So for me, this is just a rose bowl. There are no markings on the bottom. This guy's cute. What is he marked? Tom the Piper's son, patented USA, mm. with a $60 price tag on it. He's a chunky little feller. Mm, he's got his pig with him too. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I like it. I don't know if this was meant to be in the bottom of that box or not, but this is cool. Hanover, I'm assuming class of 29 with a little oh, cameo uh, head on it. A little keychain. Neat. Class of 29. Maybe from a reunion. Got some Satsuma. Oh yeah, I forgot that piece. I pulled that out. Just, yeah. Nice piece of Satsuma. It's got a mariage texture too. It's nice. This is sterling. Mm -hmm. It's marked. Nice. It's nice marked pattern. sterling? Oh yeah. It's hallmarked. Oh nice. Sterling silver and it's got the hallmark so I'll be able to tell who did the sterling. Sweet. So yeah that's a cute little piece. I like that. This is interesting. The Expressman. We never sleep. The Expressman and the Detective by Alan Pinkerton. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Oh, that's cool. 
So let's see what year this is dated. Everybody likes good detective stories, especially mm -hmm. when you're reading from 1874. This is a first edition. This is not a this is not a reprint. Oh wait. wait. Yes it is. Yeah, this is okay. Reprint is in eighteen eighty. <laughs> I was gonna say first first edition would be really awesome, but yeah, no, this is a reprint from eighteen eighty. But still. Pinkerton Detective Stories. I love the I love that. And the color. Yeah, or the I cover love the look rather. of the that's a really Covers. neat looking book. Seeing into your soul. It's golden. Not brown. Mm. More treasures. More treasures. You know what boxes you got over there? Oh, hey, I found a little date dice for the frosty oh, root that's beer sign all the way that's upstairs. upstairs. We have like a metal frosty root beer mm -hmm. sign and it has a recess in the front and it's a vintage sign yes. and it's got the blocks for the month the day the date and the year yes no year just the day and the date we're going to run on the sd card no we're not rate. this rate is very slow oh the viking picture viking that's pretty epic. This is when DAPG becomes super cool. When you got Vikings on Vikings. It. Here's another Viking. Vikings. This is, this is Vikings. If you're a Viking glass collector, you need Vikings on your glass. <laughs> it's just the way it is. That's pretty awesome. There must be a stopper for this. That's Ooh. heavy. Like that is super, super heavy. Super heavy. I'm gonna drop it on all that limo. Yeah, here's the stopper. Oh, very pretty. Fancy. fancy put your fancy pass. scotch in there. Or you could put the blood of your enemies while you're playing with your Viking glass. Viking glass is so manly. <laughs> More Viking glass. You can put beef jerky in it in your hunting cabinet and beer in your Viking it's just, okay. pitcher. It's, it, I think we took it too far. Here's more Vikings. Ooh. I like that. And all the little feet on them are also Viking. Yes, yes. I'm digging this. I'm really, like, this This must be a creamer and a sugar. Mm. I'm digging these. Yeah, the Viking stuff is pretty cool. And this is the last piece in that ah! box. Nothing broke. This is a pretty epic Viking dish. Compote. It's a compote. I like it. I like it too. I like the whole Viking theme. Yeah, I do too. Alright, now. This box, I can see right on top. There's a piece I've been itching to get my hands on since this stuff showed up. And I just absolutely am in love with this piece of Lennox Balik. This is just stunning. It's got silver applied to it. Everything about this thing is just, the lines. just screams beautiful. It's so deco. And that silver. And it's got the green. It's it's not Lennox Balik. It's just Lennox. Okay, so it's a little bit later. But it's the green Lennox Which mark. makes sense because it's now, probably deco. Some of the other ones that we got are marked Balik. And they have the green mark, but they have the palette, the painter's palette, right. and they're marked Balik. Right. And those are the turn of the century pieces. This is after they got sued and they started using Lennox. Yep. So that color you're seeing, that is actually silver. So that is pretty darn awesome. That's neat. Okay, sorry. Now, I talked to Eric a little bit about this piece because this was like an after the fact piece. Yes. 
Um, they have it marked Katani circa 1850. It's not Katani. Priced at $200. And I'm, everybody was, you guys were the consensus that it's not. I don't believe Not it. my, not my. I don't rodent, believe it's Katani. It, ah. Uh, you guys have cloaks or peak. It has a food dog on it, a blue food dog. That's what this creature is right here. We consider it a food dog. I don't think this is Katani, but. I'm not 100% positive. It does have a price of $200 on it. Um, and a date of $18.50. I never trust tags when we get them from antique shops. I mean, that was proven when we got all that stuff from the flea market the one time. And that uh, Ski Star Bowl was marked for $175 and they sell for $20. Yeah. So I never take these very seriously. But maybe it'll point me in the right direction for some research. I'm just totally digging that food dog. He yeah. is so awesome. I don't know if you guys can see him. The glare. Oh, now it's focusing on Andrew. Let's see. Ah, there we go. That blue food dog. He's great. He's got this really serious expression, too. I really like that plate. Piece of Lennox Balik. Mm hmm. And it is signed Suzanne Evans. Suzanne Evans. This piece is turn of the century. Yeah, that's Which definitely got the belief. The mark. There we go. And I will show you that mark. There we go. So you can see that mark there. It has that painter's palette. Maybe if the glare doesn't, there we go. So that is the early mark that we are looking for. This is an amazing mug. This is hand painted that with the really horse amazing. and it is Limoges. I was gonna say, what is that Limoges? Oh, it is Limoges. Yeah. I just wonder if that's like a Stein. Uh, it's a, it, it's, it's like a tankard. Yeah. I would, I would call it more of a tankard. A really stein. Neat. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. I get my words mixed up sometime. And this is JP as well. Jean Poyat. I'm gonna get it one of these times. Ooh. That's so cute. Give me that. What is that mark? Tillowitz. R.S. Tillowitz. R.S. Prussia. What is that? Oh, it's very pretty, but I'm confused by the mark on the back. May I see? This is 1925 to 1875. I wonder why it has that mark. It's kind of weird. I kind of saw it before you put it behind your back, but only glimpsed it. And I feel like it's going to be amazing. Put it in my hand. Oh my gosh. The whole thing. That is, that's killer. That's, that's just. Oh, this is probably my favorite piece out of this box. That is phenomenal. Look at it. And it's got this really very strange mark on the bottom. I have no idea what that is. Oh! And it's a train! Oh, it's a train! Maybe that'll give you some time to Google it. I don't even know if that's Googleable, but we're gonna try it. Google. We'll Google. be right back. Well, we're Googling. We're Googling. Goo, 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 goo. All right, well, that was a very super quick train, and I suspect it won't be long before it comes back in the other direction. So, um, no, we didn't have time to <laughs> Google this piece of epicness. Mm. I really like that. I love that piece. Um, Andrew did pull out these bone dishes. 
more bone dishes and these actually have cover his face there we go they have scenes on them and each scene is different they are marked gauge l h gauge 98 and i'll bet you that is 1998 1898 i'm sure what you got there you're kind of hiding from me Another little picture. A beautiful picture. This one's gorgeous. This one has the receipt inside when they bought this in 1998. And they paid $150 for our Clicka. Clicka? Clicka. 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 That is very pretty. Though. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They had, they had really good talent. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, Clicka for J.P. Limoges. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I feel like a lot of you do know, Limoges is actually a province or a place in France. It is not actually a company in France. So all this stuff that we're saying is Limoges. It's actually kind of like Murano glass is from the area of Murano. The same goes for all of this. It's from the area of Limoges. And we were researching, wasn't it in like the 1920s, there were 48 working pers so, yeah, porcelain yeah. factories in and around Limoges. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gives you some perspective to why, you know, this one's marked JP, and then we've got Haviland, and then we've got the TNV, and, and they're all marked Limoges because that was the area where they were made, so. This is an interesting piece. Um, I like this, it's, it's a really funny shaped, Covered dish, covered dish with handles. Um, it's really cool because it's marked ARR 1912. So this must have been done on the Titanic right at the end. And they were painting this and screaming, Arr! as the ship was going down in 1912. No? Okay. You lost me. You, I was so confused. You don't, know, you don't know your history. Well, it just like... The I, Titanic sank in 1912. Okay. And they were painting I, this... I get it now. Arr. I'm sorry that it took me so long. It just takes me longer to, to get your jokes sometimes. I'll, I'll try to be better. I'm just going to stop. Here. Go put some deviled eggs on this amazing... Oh, it matches, though. ...deviled Look. egg tray. Yeah, it does. They match. Matchy, matchy. Did they paint this one in 1912? No, this one was... Oh, 1916. 16. But they painted it exactly It's the, the same, same person, though. It's R. Yeah, they must have survived the Titanic. Apparently. I think that, like, totally kills your theory. Yeah. A joke just sank. <laughs> the Titanic. Oh, that was a dad joke. That was a good one. This matches. Ooh, no it doesn't. This matches something. I, it just, it's just very high goal. I don't know. Everything looks It alike. looks the same after a while. It does, but it's... In some a of good stuff way. Is just, yeah. That's really pretty. Anne Mildred. 1913. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I forgot to double check that. Yeah, come on. These names are fun. EMA, 1895, and she was doing oh. some killer seashell work. Seashells at the seashore. And it's textured, too. I don't know if they're going to be able to see. It's really pretty. It is pretty. 1895. Think about that. That's fancy. Yeah. got in there, Andrew? We got a stack of these bowls. Mm. Look at these. With more seashells. Seashell theme. These ones are not marked by an artist. These are also Austrian. Yes, M and Z Austria. These are cool. Those are really neat. I'm digging the shells. Now, each one is unique, but similar. Mm. And there's no and There's signature. six of them. Sometimes they hide the signature in the design, so I try to look carefully yeah. if I can't find it on the back. Then you got three of these. These are Haviland. I can't read that. Let me see the front. 
Oh, more seashells. Yeah, more, and these are all different too. Those are really pretty. I like the seashells. Those are fun. Seashells. What do you have there? I have a pot with a receipt inside. What does it say? What does it say? It says, it says, it says, a doctor from York, Pennsylvania bought this. How do you know it's his doctor? Oh. Junior MD. Oh, a junior doctor. In 1991. $145? But I'm going to tell you what. This it's, piece. Yeah, it's pretty phenomenal. This piece is epic looking. And honestly, it's Germany. Honestly, I think that's worth pretty darn close to what he paid for it. Maybe not quite that much. That's really but that neat is chocolate pot. Beautiful. And I love the texture and how it's raised. Absolutely beautiful. A seashell design, kind of. I like it a lot. Now, what do you have? You have Rosen, another chocolate pot? Rosenthal? Yeah. Donatello? Selb. Mmm, I like that one too. Yeah, this one looks like it matches one of the plates we just sold. There we go. The chocolate pot. So beautiful. Yikes. Donatello. We have sold creamer and sugar in the Donatello pattern. They were blanks. If you remember, we sold the Right, and right, right. Yeah. And, and and we were on the look for um, Michelangelo, Raphael, and and Splinter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the shredder was in town and it was yep, bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're such a boy. All right, so we have one more box left. However, this box has this one last piece in it. And this is a pretty phenomenal piece. It is. This is, this is a really odd piece that we have to do some research on. Um, this is actually painted on here, Xmas 1888. So this is a really early piece. This is a Christmas. really nice piece. Um, there is no maker's mark, but it is a humidor jar with your ashtray mm -hmm. with your striker with a place to hold cigars or butts i love it or your matches would go in here that's what i'm thinking and i'm you thinking put your, matches put your, put your butts out in here and your striker in here and this is your cigar humidor i mean this is this is an amazing piece look at it absolutely absolutely stunning piece it's so strange, and I love it at the same 1888. time. 1888. 1888. It's fancy. That's awesome. That's so cool. It goes with all your cigar labels. It does. It really does. All right, so. We're running out of room. We've got one box left, and I gotta do some One remaining up. box. From. <laughs> a magical little land called the flea market. I was literally on my phone and I looked up and it was just sitting in front of me. Massive terrain. That's beautiful. With matching platter. Is it marked? It is. It's impressed in there. Want me to read it? You know I'm like the worst at this, right? What's even cooler is it still has the original matching ladle. Do you know how hard it is to find these things not broken? Oh, I know. This Normally is they're this gone. is this is the key piece right here. This ladle right here is the key piece. It looks like A S H W O R Ashworth. Ashworth? I don't know. Ashworth? Ashwaria. Ash Ashworths. Ashwaria. It's beautiful. It is I absolutely it. gorgeous. I was just telling Joss, 
We need to make like snapper soup for Christmas and serve it what out of this. What is that? Snapper soup? Yeah. Turtle soup. Oh. It's I really love good. Turtles. They're delicious. Turtles are my friend. This thing. This thing. These things are monsters. What are those? Ooh, I like that. Oh, look at the look. stars and yeah. the moon in the back. Ooh, that's interesting. What does that say? This one's signed. Wenton Vey? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's signed. Oh, yeah, they're signed. Yeah, this one's signed too. But this one's really hard to read. Something 22. The sucker's heavy. Oh my gosh, but that's so neat. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to so see pheasants. it. Oh yeah, it's not gonna work for you guys. Okay, so there's a little girl and in, in the foreground. In the foreground and, and on the back, back side of the glass. On the glass is a moon and stars. Yeah. That is so neat. So behind her, like she's 3D to the moon and stars. Yeah. I like that a lot. I might keep that for Juliet. It kind of reminds me of her look. Little girl looking up at the moon. I'll sell Pheasants. the pheasant one. I don't really care about that one. This one's signed too, but I can't really... I know. This one's better. You might be able to read it. I just can't because I'm like... not wearing my glasses. Yeah. And if the last two numbers on it are 22. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get to it later when I'm not trying to not run out of SD card. Oh, that's right. We're almost out of SD card. Quick. Unfortunately, this box doesn't have much left in it. Oh. Jeez, this is heavy. This is signed too. Oh. What does it say? Boda. Furu. Boda. What? Boda, Sweden. Something Sweden. Hmm. Sweet. Shh. So I'm assuming wow. the other ones are going to be like that. that too. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. I don't even think I can, I can't what? even hold it for the camera. I'm going to drop it. Crystal, maybe? Ooh, I like the ring. That sounds nice. And I think... What, what, what? This is it. That is the end of the thousand dollar haul. This is the end. My only friend. Do we get a song? The end. So uh, this is everything that we got for the thousand dollars, including the previous video. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I think so too. We've already had several items sell from this haul. That have done exceptionally well. Yes. Um, uh, we haven't broken even yet, but we've only sold about ten. I got to tell you though, I'm really happy with some of the really amazing pieces that have come out of this this haul um whatever i got to do to keep this guy happy to keep him shopping keep him anything keep him going no not <laughs> no 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 <laughs> seriously though this has just been one of the most exciting groups of groupings of stuff to unbox i think so too um i Impressive. Absolutely. Just, just I'm so imp glad we decided to level up. I am. I'm really happy with the quality of the stuff that's coming in. Um, we're still getting some of that middle range stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. which is okay. We we still want to offer that stuff. We want to. We want to give everybody nice options. Mix. Yeah, we want to give everybody options. Yeah. But this, um, I mean, this is the stuff that I always dream of, and this is the stuff that I dream of finding in the thrift stores, and. You know, it's always so hit or miss. You know, I got to tell you, though, like, to be honest with you, forget the thrift stores. I, I just, I remember growing up and going into antique shops and going to flea markets and going to Renninger's in Adamstown and seeing this kind of stuff and just looking at it and just being so impressed. And, and I wanted it. I wanted, I was like, oh, I got to, that's so beautiful. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And I could never, you know, you're a kid. You can't afford stuff like yeah. that and your parents are like well, you want to buy what no 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 and here it is sitting right in front of me and if i want to keep it i can 
If I want it, it's mine. So I just got to say that I, I really enjoyed doing this just because... This was so much fun. Yeah, I mean, I we've, feel like we've we got to see and touch and handle and uh, pass along some items that you just normally don't get to see. And you should be able to see these things. They're just, they're just incredible. Yeah, I feel like... Um, From a time when they actually gave a crap about what they put out. Oh, absolutely. And the quality and... Yes. It, now I do feel like we have to sell off some of this stuff before we drop another thousand dollars on another haul, but... Yeah, um, yeah. The kids are going back to school this week, and uh, we've got Casey and Sam, and, and we've I've got been, a lot of listings to do. And I've been working on cigar labels, yep. so we've got a bunch of those up right now. Um, some really cool ones, and there was over 300 and I've only got about 30, so I've only got about 10% listed, so I've got a ways to go, um, but we're getting there. Yeah. All right, well, on that note, we are going to end this video because it is getting late, and I've still got to edit tomorrow's video, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. This was exciting. Yep. I enjoyed this a lot. I did too. I'm, I'm, I'm sad to have it come to an end. I know, now. me too. I'm like, oh, now what? We need more boxes. But no, buckle down, do the listings, and then we get more boxes. We got all the hauls filmed Yeah. that we needed to get filmed. Feels good. So we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, fist bumps are better. Explosion. Boom. Okay. We will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.